Welcome to MoneyWise Smart's Multibagger Research Series Earnings Updates, where we provide updates on the recent earnings of the great potential multibagger businesses we cover. Bank OZK is one of the best banks in the US. Founded and managed by a great capital allocator George Gleason. On 22 April 2021, it released its results for 2021Q1. Before we discuss the earnings, please smash the like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and keep us motivated to bring more of such high-quality content to you. Bank OZK released its earnings for 2021Q1 on 22 April 2021. For this quarter, Bank OZK reported their highest quarterly net income ever in their company history. The total provision expenses have reversed to negative. This reversion was expected as the economy started to recover. This was something we had already commented in our previous earnings updates, for example in the update for 2020Q2. Their other financial metrics have also been very solid as always. Additionally, Bank OZK has developed a new business unit to increase diversification and organic growth called asset-based lending, in short, a BL unit, whose primary role is focusing on lending to medium-sized businesses. This new unit was anticipated to contribute meaningfully to their overall own growth in 2022. Here's our detailed summary of the 20 key points from the quarterly earnings results and earnings call. Net interest income for the quarter was $235 million, an increase of 11.9% from 2020Q1, but a 1.2% decrease from the $238 million in 2020Q4. These were mainly due to an increase in core spread. In 2021Q1, the core spread improved to 4.78%, a percentage point increase of 0.59%, or 0.21% compared to 2020Q1 and 2020Q4, respectively, offsetting the elevated level of net loan repayments in 2021Q1. The increase in core spread was primarily due to a reduction in their cost of interest-bearing deposits, in short, COIBD. Given the maturation of time deposit with high weighted average interest rate in the near future, the management expected further improvements in their COIBD. For context, the weighted average interest rate for the time deposits maturing in 2021Q2 is 1.13%, much higher than the 0.36% rate that Bank OZK achieved in 2021Q1 for new and renewed time deposits. Net interest margin, in short, NIM, was 3.86% for 2021Q1, a percentage point decrease of 0.10%, or 0.02% from 2020Q1 and 2020Q4, respectively. This was partly due to their increased amount of investment with high liquidity in the form of cash balances and very short-term securities which had relatively low yield, reflective of their quality and short-term nature. This negatively impacted the NIM despite the increase in core spread. However, Bank OZK continued to outperform the industry on NIM in 2020Q4, the latest quarter for which comparative data was available. Their NIM outperformed the industry by 1.2%. The Bank OZK's 3.88% versus industry's 2.68%. Net income for 2021Q1 was a quarterly record of $148 million, a 1,151%, or $136 million, increase from $12 million for 2020Q1. However, please keep in mind that this drastic increase in net income was driven by a large change in provision expense of negative $32 million in 2021Q1 versus positive $118 million in 2020Q1. To ignore the impact of this change in provision expense and the associated tax impact, we can focus on the net interest income line, which is discussed earlier, increased by 12% or $25 million, from $210 million in 2020 Q1 to $235 million in 2021 Q1. Meanwhile, the amounts of non-interest income and non-interest expenses broadly stayed the same year over year. If we ignore the one-off gains relating to the sale of two South Carolina branches of $4 million and BOLI death benefit income of $1 million. 
the total provision expense for the quarter was a negative $32 million. This was not surprising. As in our previous earning updates, we had mentioned that if the economy recovered relative to the projection, then the future provision expenses could be zero or even negative. As of 31 March 2021, Bank OZK's allowance for loan losses, in short ALL for outstanding loans was $268 million, or 1.4% of total outstanding loans. Their reserve for potential losses on unfunded loan commitments was $74 million, or 0.6% of unfunded loan commitments. This brought their total allowance for credit losses, in short ACL, which included the ALL and the reserve for potential losses on unfunded loans commitments, to $342 million. The calculation for provision expense and total allowance for credit loss was based on assumptions of recent economic forecasts provided by Moody's, which already included their updates in March 2021. Being even more conservative, Bank's OZK calculation included adjustments to capture certain risks not being fully reflected in Moody's model. On total loans balance, their total loans balance at the end of 2021 Q1 was $18.7 billion, a 2.7% or $0.5 billion increase from end 2020 Q1. However, due to a high level of net loan repayments in 2021 Q1, the total loans balance decreased $0.5 billion, or 2.6% not annualized from end 2020. Non-purchased loans accounted for 96% of their total loans. Non-purchased loans at 31 March 2021 increased $1.0 billion, or 5.6% from 31 March 2020. However, due to a high level of net loan repayments in 2021 Q1, the outstanding balance of non-purchased loans decreased $0.4 billion, or 2.3% not annualized, as compared to 31 December 2020. For the funded balance of non-purchased loans, RESG accounted for 64% and the RESG amount increased $1.4 billion over the last four quarters, but decreased $0.2 billion in 2021 Q1. This decrease was due to high RESG loan repayments during 2021 Q1, which was the highest level since 2019 Q4. The management also expected the RESG loan repayment in 2021 to be above the record annual $5.7 billion level in 2019, making RESG loan repayment a headwind to 2021 loan growth. They also anticipated the loan repayment to be an all-time quarterly record in 2021 Q2, which would result in another quarter of negative loan growth. However, they expected the positive loan growth for RESG and total loans to resume in 2021 Q3 and Q4. RESG loan originations for 2021 Q1 were $1.3 billion, a decrease from $1.8 billion in 2020 Q1 and also $1.8 billion in 2020 Q4. The decrease was due to fewer large mixed-use projects launched during the quarter in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic and fewer loans originations meeting their standards in the large urban markets like New York City. The management anticipated these would normalize in the second half of 2021 and in 2022. For the remaining points of this video, please check them out at our multi-bagger research series at the link in the description below. In that series, we discuss in detail great businesses to own and compound our wealth for the long term. These great businesses have been growing fast in terms of revenue, profits and free cash flows. For example, this global payments company has grown at a compounded annual growth rate, or CAGR of 60 to 80 percent from 2014 to 2019. Meanwhile, this technology company has grown its revenue at a CAGR of 80 percent from 2016 to 2019. And this payments company has grown its revenue and profits at a CAGR of 20 plus percent in the past decade. If you have enjoyed this video, please smash the like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This will help us with the YouTube algorithm and keep us motivated to bring more of such high-quality content to you. Do join us in our investment forum on Facebook, using the link in the description below, where we discuss lots of interesting businesses and investing concepts.